Greetings, nerdlings. We're going to do a little follow-up video to the Rubicon video that we posted a couple of days ago because it was such a great con that we went back the second day because there were things we saw the first day that we wish we picked up. So, first things first is this really cool hand-carved dragon dice roller. He's really neat, really intricate. He, he's got a little uh, tray down here and then the dragon, but they come apart for kind of easy... Um, storage or porta portability or whatnot. He has two places that you can um, roll your die with or dice. Whoops. There's a hole back here that you can put your dice in and it comes out down here. So you kind of put your dice in and there they come. Or an even more fun way, make the dragon eat them. So you go like this and you throw it down and go it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This is really cool. This is from a kind of local artist. He's up in, uh, where is that, Raymondville. His name is Donnie Barton from Banks, Bows, and Dragons. We will put a link to his Facebook in the, in the description below so you guys can go check him out. He, um, he does these uh, for about $40, and I think that's actually a really great price. I mean, there's a lot of detail. I mean, you can see down here he's... Different, there's different colors and designs down here. Uh, at Rubicon, he had a dog and he had the dragon. He had a dragon bank. Um, for 40 bucks, that's not bad for hand carved, handmade. Um, he also told me at Rubicon that if you can come up with anything, he loves a challenge and he will try to create it in either a piggy bank or in a dice roller. This dice roller is pretty cool because. One, I just, I love dragons, so that's why I went with the dragon one. But it's great for game nights. It's, um, you can keep sure, or make sure that people aren't going to cheat. Because, you know, they're not going to like, oh, there, I, I put my dice down. And these, you know, the dragon will not allow you to, to uh, cheat. It's great for little kids who, you know, tend to throw the dice everywhere. Because they haven't quite figured out how the whole dice rolling thing goes. So this keeps it in a nice contained little little tray right here so you know and and what little kid isn't gonna want to have the dragon eat his dice he's like come on let me let me do that only problem is my big dice won't fit but that's okay he is super cool though he's got a lot of great detail on him i'm gonna post some pictures later but you can see he's got you know red chest there's there's some red on his wings he's just he's really really great quality really awesome i actually look forward to trying to come up with something else for this guy to create again the guy's name is donnie barton banks bows and dragons he, I'll, we'll put his email on facebook below we've got one more really cool item that i got for you but uh he's kind of big and he's kind of heavy so ta-da it's an r2d2 cooler how cool is that i saw this guy and i just had to have him except he was really expensive so i decided not to get him the first day but then that's why i went back the second day because i decided i would see if the guy would take any less for it he wanted 120 bucks for it. We bartered back and forth and I finally got him to settle on $70. I thought for the condition that he's in, 70 is a pretty good price. I mean, he is a big cooler and you're gonna pay about 70 bucks for a good normal cooler anyway. And who doesn't want an R2-D2 cooler when they go camping or playing for game nights or whatever? I mean, he's, he's still in good shape. He's a little, he's got some nicks here and there, but I mean, he's from the 80s. And this isn't paint, these are all stickers. So I mean, I thought for for being about 30 plus years old, it's not bad. I mean, and he's, you know, he's got some stickers on his legs here, but I mean, it's for the most part, it's actually 3D down here. Then, you know, they even went all the way around. They, they, they were really looking. And to get in the cooler, take his little R2 head off. And you've got, he goes all the way down. I mean, he's, he's a big boy. He's a big old cooler. I do apologize. He is a little dirty. Last time he took a bath was on Dagobah. But anyway, but he's really fun. You can put your sodas in here. You can put your blue milk in here. Um, I did notice though, uh, he does have all of his stickers, but there are some spots here. There's one here, one on his head and one back here some screw spots that obviously something's missing, but I have been looking online and I can't seem to find what is missing. 
So if any of you guys know what he's missing in the comments below, kind of tell us what's missing. Or if you've got a picture, that's even better. That's great. But anyway, I just thought he was really cool, really fun. Um, I will say I love my R2 and I had to buckle him in on the way home because I didn't want anything bad to happen to my little R2 unit. So anyway, that's our Rubicon video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we will check you guys out next time. See you nerdlings. the droid no, I've been looking for. No, this is not for. the droid you're looking for. No, Negan, go away. Go away. Shut that shit down. No!